Well, welcome to another video of the DKS Group. Today, I'm gonna to talk about businesses starting up. And I've already seen some monumental fails as businesses start to open up. So let's jump straight into this video because this is gonna be hard hitting, maybe a little bit controversial. So let's start. I'm Andy from the DKS Group. You'll notice the new clothing, the new uh, images there, sparklies indoors because we've been out today. Businesses are gonna get back to some kind of normality. And you've got an opportunity now. Your customers are gonna expect something. Now, if you're very, very fortunate, you're in a non-Amazon based business. So your customers haven't been online. They are desperate to come and see you. Please don't make stupid decisions. Think about your customer journey. Now we have a saying here at DKS and it runs through all the businesses, the sport, the transport, the business development, and even the coaching. The leaders work for the staff, the staff work for the customers, and the customers work for the business. You need to educate the staff that you've got coming back. And this is where I'm going to give you some top tips. And I know my good friend, Angela, who's mentored me on social media. No, don't give stuff away. Put it on your subscription. And I always say, do a walkthrough. You've seen on our website, the one that's here. Have a look. The looking in, the looking out. Make sure they join up. I've been to a business today that's talking about opening. And we've walked through what the customer experience will be. And it was described, I turned around and walked out. I'm not interested. This is not going to work. It's not they haven't thought about it. They haven't got the, the two metre rule. We all understand that. But it's the stupid things you're doing. And I'm going to mention one of them. There's a sign. We're not allowing you to come in. Please use the door on the side to get a one-way system. Now you're going to say, Anne, that sounds lovely. That works. No, the door on the side has a handle I have to use. The front doors are automatic. I don't have to touch them. So I'm gonna to walk to a door that automatically opens. I can then be shown in a route around the store and come back out, a one in, one out. No, you're gonna make me go and put my hand on a door handle and turn it and then it's gonna... So have some common sense. And it's irritated me these last few days, working with businesses, listening to businesses, even on like, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to... It doesn't work unless you take yourself and put yourself in the customer's eyes and understand what this walkthrough is going to be like. So gone into a sporting shop. Yep, okay, what you want me to do? Well, you can't touch anything. Okay, not a person. One, per, one person in the shop. How do I pay? Oh no, we're, um, we're card only. Well, it's a couple of quid. You know, you were a couple of months ago, minimum five pound order on card. Yeah, because the transactions are too high. Well, now you want a couple of quid on card. Make your mind up. Customers have been walking in. Yeah, I've got a couple of quid in my pocket. Yeah, not a problem. No, we only take card. Turning around and going back out. I was at a building shop. Uh, builders merchants, we'll call them. Much the same, guy walked in, handful of notes. Yep, no problem, I want to order a pallet of them. There's your cash. We don't take cash. Well, where does it tell me you don't? Well, no, we're not touching it. And he got quite upset. He said, well, you're touching the keypad. You're touching the trolley. You're touching my phone to get the discount code. You're touching my discount card, and yet you won't take, no, 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 company policy. And he was like, no, what? Just leave the trolley there, walked out. Now, I'm trying to find out whether it's law that you have to take card. Because I'm fairly sure the places I've been with our transport firm, we're still paying cash. We're still, there's your cash. You know, I want a bag of sweets, there's your cash. So understand the journey you're making your customers go on. The majority of customers, now this is, I'm going to blanket this. Customers understand you've been shut. It's fairly obvious. It's made the paper, it's made the news, it's made social media. Businesses are shut. Now, businesses are reopening. Most people get the two metre rule. There's been enough common sense about this. I know some people haven't, but... So they're gonna come into your shop. Your best thing is to train your staff, educate your staff, and then walk through as a mystery shop. Do it yourself. Understand what your customers are gonna do. Right, they're gonna to get to this door. These are our requirements. We don't want you... 
Oh, it's an automatic door. It opens. Right, they're going to step inside. Which way do we want them to go? Or oh, we'd like them to go that way, through there, pay, come back round and come out. Lovely. Then write your policy. I've written a policy today for a business, having walked through it several times as a customer with a customer's partner, as a customer with a little child, which way are we going? How can we use the facilities? How can we purchase stuff? How can we buy stuff? It's common sense. You are the business owner. You need to open. Not disputing that. You need it to be right and you need to write it down. But please don't make stupid decisions. Think about the decision that you're going to make. Yes, your customers pay on card, on Amazon, on stuff like this. But if you're a little shop going, yeah, it's a couple of quid. Children haven't got a couple of quid. You know, people, youngsters that aren't 14, 15 are coming in and out of your shop. Yes, you can get them to go one way. If they've got a handful of change, take the money. You know, the money now is washable. Put gloves on your receptionists. Just have a com... Just think about what you're asking your customer. Because if you start asking them too much, they will go away and they will not come back. They understand they're trying to support you. So you need to understand how your business is gonna work, how it's gonna operate. When your customer turns up at your premise, how are they gonna park? How are they gonna do this? If you don't do a dry run, and understand it, you're gonna make some fundamental mistakes. And when you've made these fundamental mistakes, your customers are gonna go elsewhere. You've been good on social media, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook. You've been putting messages out there, well, the sensible businesses have, telling people this is what's gonna happen. We've got our social distancing measures in. There's a beautiful campsite just down the road as you look over where the fir tree is. Behind there's a lovely campsite absolutely amazing they've separated their fields up for the camping they've separated their electric points they've put extra toilets in please use this they will be sanitized here are the sanitation points even with the footpath they've even put a sanitation thing so that you can open the the style gate or step over it they did a dry run well i helped we worked on how somebody would walk in what are the options what could they do plan a b and c so understand how your customers look, listen to what they're telling you or what you're telling them and the way they're going to feel. They're going to be nervous about coming to do business with you, but they're going to read your website. They're going to read your COVID-19 requirements. This is what we'd like you to do. When they get there, don't make that journey any harder than it needs to be. We've had, with our own DKS horse transport, we've got sanitation, we've had to wipe down everything, we've got wipes, we've got masks, we've got extra stuff, we can't take people in the vehicles, they've had to follow, we've had one person doing this, gloves and everything in every single one of our vehicles. You know we've worked with the haulage, every truck is assigned to a driver, still had masks, wipes, alcohol wipes, everything he touches, he touches the truck, nobody else does nobody comes near him everything's done from a two meter distance we've tried to make it as easy as we can but we're smart we have done a dry run and this is what i'm asking you to do you might even be a pub or a social club or a something opening tomorrow fourth of july happy birthday to me but at the end of the day, do a dry run for your customer. If you've got a touch pad for them to get in, well, that ain't going to work. Because how many people are going to touch that pad? If you've got a membership, is there a way of going, right, please let us know you're coming? Emailing your customers. So you've got to understand what it's like being a customer in your premise. Now you're going to say, and you've given so much away. I have. I've given you the world in this video but please don't make mistakes. We will accept we're gonna make them, but if you dry run what your customer sees, hears, and is gonna feel about coming into your premises, you are gonna make the experience a lot better. You're nervous, they're nervous. You're desperate because you need money, we get that, but you don't have to be stupid. So think about the walkthrough, think about what a customer's gonna do when they get there. How are they gonna, well they're gonna turn up no, I don't want them touching the keypad. I don't want them opening the door. Electric doors. Yeah, we have, we've got that, that's cool. Right, how do we walk them around? Can we keep them away from this? Let's walk around as a customer with a trolley. Let's try it. So walk around with a customer in a bag. 
try it and then write your notes. Now, somebody that runs events, DKS Sport has run some major events, national championships, we've run an international. You try something, change your risk plan. Try it, change your risk plan. A, B and C. We're trying to make it work practically and logically. So at the end of the day, all I'm trying to ask you to do, having looked at some monumental fails this week, and also looked at some businesses that have done the walkthrough. I was even invited by a business and turn up, read the signs, tell me what you think. Okay, please park here, please follow this, please follow that, come into here, one way, yeah, it can't make sense, I get that. Right, now write that on your website. How did it feel? How did, you know, well, I kind of knew what I was doing. I was. So there were businesses out there that want to reopen, that want to do the right thing. So in short, what I'm asking you to do is to think, plan, understand the customer. The customer is gonna be nervous. The customer is gonna be looking and going, well, you know what? I wanna go out and support this local business. Don't make the journey any harder than you have to for your customers. Because once they've come in and they've gone, yeah, okay, this is normal, you might adapt it, you might change it, but get it right the first time. So just think, it's all I'm asking you as a business. The leaders work for the staff. Understand what your staff are gonna have to do. Walk through it with your staff, support them and encourage them. The staff can then do the mystery shop on themselves. Walk through, customer's gonna wanna do this. Mrs. Jones does that, Mr. Jones likes doing this. Walk through it, this is what we're gonna have to do. This is how we're gonna have to operate. And try it, and you're gonna have to try it several times. As I said, the beautiful campsite down the road, absolutely amazing. They've been trying it for the last week, right? If we put people there, where will they walk? They'll go there, they'll go into the river, they'll camp there. How does this happen? Well, they come there, how are they gonna, this is what... And we've been using the experience of knowledge of what's been happening in the past to make the decisions now. We understand that campers are gonna wanna go there. We understand that people are gonna wanna go to the pub. We understand their behavior. It's just putting it back in so that we make those customers have an in, as best and enjoyable journey, but we don't make stupid decisions. If you take cash, take cash. Work for a way of taking it because you're going to lose customers. You can't then let a customer go in, pick up the shopping and then go, oh no, we only take card. No, take the cash. You want to, you know, it's waterproof. Wash it, put it in the disinfectant. If you want my money, you'll take it. If you make it harder for me, I'll go home. Now, this is where you have to understand the Amazon world. I can go on, buy everything I need without leaving my living room. So why am I coming to you? So you've got to entice me. You've got to expect me to come in and do things. So walk around, try it, see how you get on. The customer experience is critical. You need the money in, your customers need to go, you know, I was concerned, I was confused about going there, I wanted to get out. Ooh. But I had a good experience. I understand how it worked. I was okay with that. And I'll go back there again. And the minute that customer comes back, the loyalty's there. They understand what you're going through. They know what's happening. They're watching the news. They're watching Facebook. They're watching social media. They understand there's problems in the world. You don't have to make it any more harder for them. So with that in mind, I hope you like the new grey and the black. It's all looking good. We're off tomorrow. A, it's my birthday. So I'm being invited out for a social distancing clay shoot over at Cambridge with some good friends. Going to a barbecue and a pub in the afternoon. And then Sunday, I've got one of my sporting competitions. So for me, it's back to normal. The trucks are rolling tonight. It's good. Horse transport's busy. Coaching's busy. We are good. Oh, and if you wanted to know, it is on the back as well. So hence I can use this as part of my shooting and my everyday thing. Our motorsport people are getting back and I've just ordered some of these for some of our athletes. For us, it's normal. Life is normal, but we're working with businesses that are struggling and we're helping those businesses. So if you want a hand, I'll put a link. Obviously I've mentioned the lovely campsite down the road. They are amazing and I will put their link in. But please, think about what you're going to ask your customers to do. Make their journey easy and understand what the staff are going to do for those customers. And you are leaders. So I'm going to leave you. The leaders work for the staff. The staff work for the customer. The customer works for the business. Simple as.